How does Big Brev's voice get so f***ing low? Now, a lot of people have actually debated about how I get so low and how all these other subharmonic singing basses get so low. Uh, the debate includes maybe we're using our false vocal folds, maybe we're using our arytenoids, or maybe we're just using auto-tune. Well, we're actually going to put it to the test. We're actually gonna figure out how I get so f***ing low. The hard part is trying to find a facility that can actually get in there see the vocal folds and find out what's causing the disturbance in the vocal fold to get that subharmonic to drop down the octave. Unfortunately, what you need is a high speed scope that can go down there and catch all this information. So where do you find that? Well, I am so unbelievably excited to announce that I have found just the team to perform this study. Now, a lot of you have probably heard of Christina Perry, Adele, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, John Mayer, and then Mary Poppins herself, Julie Andrews. Well, all of them have one thing in common. They all had vocal surgery at the same institute over at Mass General Hospital. Well, I'm incredibly excited to announce that I am bringing some of my friends in, some bass singing friends that all of you know, I am bringing them in with me to be studied at the exact same facility that all those great singers I just mentioned go to for their vocal traumas. So you probably noticed that the room behind me is under construction. That's because this is going to become my Studio Brev YouTube studio. And in this room, I'm going to explain to you that entire study. So I am so excited to bring in some of my bass friends, friends who you have heard all over Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Spotify, all of social media. I am bringing in some of my good friends to also be studied at Mass General Hospital with professors from Harvard and Berkeley and Boston Conservatory. I mean, we have a world-class team studying subharmonics and me, oh, yeah. Bobby Bass, yeah. and David Kahn, we are the guinea pigs in this groundbreaking research. So we're gonna find out once and for all, are we using our false vocal folds? Or are we actually doing a true vocal fold subharmonic? And I'm so excited to share the results. So stay tuned, definitely go follow my YouTube channel because you're not gonna wanna miss this. And I'm just so excited to finally share with the world how Big Brev sings so f***ing well.